Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy Golf, welcome to the Big Oggy Diary. I'm going to play a few holes today at a, well, I'm going to say quirky course, but I don't know, at a bit of a mystery course for me. This is the first time I've ever set foot on a tee box at St Q Golf Club. St Q Golf Club has been going for quite some time, but if you remember looking at one of the first videos about the Cornish Quest, when I was discussing what courses were going to let us play and not, St Q was on the list of, I just couldn't find anybody to ask. Uh, I came down to see the place, it was completely empty, as it is now. Went into the clubhouse, that was empty. Everything was just, it's like a bit like Marie Celeste. So, uh, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to film, wasn't sure about anything. So I thought I'd come down today, just give the place a go. By myself, I'm, I'm flying solo today, and uh, just take a look. Obviously the weather has not been good, we understand that. It's going to be quite wet in patches, the grass is quite long, they've had problems getting the mowers out with it because again, seriously bad weather. Um, but we're just going to have a bit of fun today. So, if you don't know where St Q is, it's um, just off the Atlantic Highway, uh, on the way to kind of Bude, really, and Bowood. So we filmed there recently, I've gone past the signs for St Q and I thought I'm going to have to go and have another go. So I popped in and luckily the owners were here. What lovely people they are. And uh, Faye and John, Faye and John Brown. And um, no disrespect, they are getting on a little bit now. So uh, there are, at times I dare say they probably struggle to look after the place. And uh, it was a thriving membership when I spoke to Faye a few years ago and then COVID happened and all those members kind of moved off and they've got a few senior members now, but not many left. So it's almost like a little private golf course now in, in its own way. But you can come here, uh, you can put money in the honesty box, you can play as a nine hole. It's a nine hole course, but two very separate tee setups. And uh, it used to be home of the Cornish Short Course Championship, I believe. Uh, so they've obviously warned me today that uh, the, the course is not in the condition they really want it to be. And uh, the greens are going to be quite long, everything's going to be well, just what it is. So we're going to hit some balls, we'll see what happens. So it's a mixture of par threes and par fours on the front nine, which we're going to play today, hopefully, or most of it. Uh, the par threes are quite long, so they're like 190, 200 yards. And then when you play it the back way, the, short, the par threes are shorter. It's just one of those things. So we're gonna start with hole number one, which is a par three. And um, off the top of my head, oh, it's about 197 yards, like I said, long way. So we'll tell you more about the course, or well, little bits I know, as we carry on. So like I said, 197 yards. I've literally, no, I've not warmed up. They have a nice little driving range here, which is used quite a lot, I believe, still. So, again, got lots of little facilities here, just need to be used. Well, that, well, that's not bad at all. So it's gonna be wet down there, there's gonna be no run at all today. That's a great start, John. I really like this place. I want to try and keep some of these little courses going. So we're going to publicize this place. We're going to come back hopefully and do a full Cornish quest. So I've just popped up to the green, take a look. The greens are cut. Everything else is pretty, um, well, it's kind of rough, okay? Uh, the fairways are, haven't been cut. There've been a few problems with trying to use a mower on this at the moment, which is fine. So. We're going to be playing most shots out of rough today, even if we're on a fairway, I guess. The grass is quite long. That's fine. Well, we're on the green. Nothing else to say about that. All good. So you might be able to hear that the, uh, there is a greenkeeper here doing some work. Well, there's only so much one person can do at the time in the conditions. Greens, well, they're going to be slow and they're uh, well, probably a bit bobbly for now. Hmm, not bad. But we'll take a four and be very happy with that. Now, I've got to try and find out where the next hole is. I think it's over there, but it could be over there. Okay, second hole is also a par three. Uh, 142 yards up a hill, bit of a left to right wind. T is a long cut, as you can see. A few people have had a few issues here yesterday by the look of it. So, 
going to try with a seven wood because quite frankly there's going to be no roll to get high and let it go oh close but my fingers just stopped dead again oh well we keep going though good so far so like i said it plugged kind of expected um you know, yeah we could do winter rules if we wanted but we're not going to it's gonna try and knock it onto the green bit iffy but hey it got on next time winter rules we'll pick the ball up clean it so we scraped onto the green hard to say scraped on but that's okay two putts for a four one for a three hmm flag in or flag out Mr. Treby, if you're watching, well, I'll stay flag in because I'm lazy, really. Oh, I've got the pace now, anyway. Pretty bobbly, this, this green. Everything needs a bit of trimming, a little bit of tender care. But I'll come, that'll come. Oh, go on to the next. We'll take a four. Okay, hole number three um, took some finding. I ended up um, on hole nine and 18. So came down to the green, was over here, and I turned left thinking up the closest, I had to turn right. But we're here, so we're gonna get a bit lost today because we don't really know where we're going. Um, this is the first par four, which is 302 off the yellows, 306 off the whites, called Twin Oaks, and I'm assuming that's the Twin Oaks down there. They planted hundreds, if not thousands of trees here was just literally farmland and like a lot of people kind of diversified they found an idea here i think one of the families really into golf originally and they just said this will make a perfect little course so that's what we're doing i'm um, going to try to get out there like i said the tea boxes well um they won't be able to cut them so again i'm taking a driver but i'm basically driving in the rough but with a tea so you know Cameras on, yeah. Hope so. I'm gonna talk to myself anyway. Yeah, that was very much out of uh, rough, but, but that's okay. That's okay. He's gonna be playing very short today, as we know. Keep going. So, obviously, we didn't make the marker post or the twin oaks. So, my plan is just get through and get a bit closer. Go with an iron because we are, like I said, in kind of rough, really. Go for it, John. Oh, a little bit to the right. Well, we have to see what happens with that. There's one on the right-hand side, but I think it's a big open space, hopefully. So like I said, through more luck than judgment, we are, we're over the trees, or well, the bushes there, and uh, we're in some heavy stuff. Not entirely unexpected, really. So, oh, wet grips. Um, it's that far. I don't have a rangefinder on me today, but just, just doing it for fun. Go with a nine iron, we've got to get out of this stuff. We got out, but hooked it left, long grass. It's okay. Well, we're on, but that was a bit, a bit hefty, wasn't it? Ah, well, what a learning curve. I like this kind of course for learning stuff like this. Except the putting's up the scratch. So, as I walk up to this putt, which is a long way, and going downhill down the slope, and a bit, well, I'm guessing left to right as I see it. Notice in there's some, well, they would be bunkers, but they're now kind of waste bunkers. So in the old days, there would have been bunkers here. Maybe there will be later on in the year. I, I honestly don't know, but that's fine. All hazards are good. Now, hmm. I'm right on the edge of the green. No idea of pace. Serious bubbles. But oh well. This needs to go in, John. Yes, he does. 
Okay, um, that may have been a six, I'm not sure. We'll check that later, but I'm happy with that, especially with the way we struggled getting out of some of the stuff. Very happy with two part as always. Let's go to the next hole. Okay, 156 yards par three. Take the thermal off. It almost feels like spring has really sprung. There's um, catkins coming down off the trees. The flowers, some of the trees are now in bloom. Looking very good. This is a par three, downhill, with a big drop off on the back. Oh, struck that well, went with a five iron, might have been too big. Oh no, it's actually just died in the dip at the front. That's okay. Wow. Striking better, still need lessons though. I keep ringing Dan, but he's a bit busy. So maybe I need a different coach for a while. We'll see. So, like I said, we uh, didn't quite make the green. That's not entirely unexpected today. Um, see, normally I'd go dinky nine, but the flags all seem to be right at the front of all the greens at the moment today. So, I'll have no chance of rolling. Uh, yeah, winter rules. Bit anyway. There we go. So, 54 wedge. Need to practice these anyway. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. I love winter rules, I do. Right then, John. It's about seven feet. Sinking slightly left to right. Oh, oh well. Oh well, it was left to right. We'll call that a four. Go on to the next hole. Great little course. Just needs a bit more tender loving care. And that will happen as the weather improves. Okay, hole number five. What a hole it is. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just corridor, corridor of trees. Uh, 372 yards par four off the yellows. 383 off the whites. I mean, nothing in it, any of them. I've had to move it slight, my ball slightly to the front of the tee, which is the reds, which is only a couple of yards shorter again. They're all literally on the same space uh, because the tee is quite long and I... Even with a driver and a tee peg, I couldn't actually see the ball. So, it's going to get it out there, yeah. Wow. Great hole. Just a beautiful little course. Can't wait to come back in the summer. Well, that's about as straight as I can hit one. Yep, look, on the right hand side of straight. I'm liking this going for things a bit now. Just need to get a bit of lessons, a bit more training, get the technique better. Well, I hit that as best I could, and just when it landed, it didn't go anywhere. Still seems such a long way to go. But I'm going to have to go seven iron because it's like landing in thick rough. Just too literally speaking, we could go pitch away a pitching wedge, but anything else isn't going to work. This might not work either. Just, we're just showcasing the course today. Don't think about the score. Please don't think about the score. This could be terrible today. Well, it got up and out. A little bit left. That's okay. Sorry, a little bit right. Your left. Now, my apologies, because you're not going to see much but that's just a stunning tree, beautiful tree. But not good if you land inside there. But we're here. Oh, seriously, long stuff again. I'm just going to hack out. I mean, the green's down now. I can't, so I've got to get it. I could well, just go for everything as hard as you can and see what happens. Well, that is as good as I could do. Wow, beautiful tree though. In fact, that's so beautiful. We're we'll going to have to take a picture, I think. While I do that, we'll move to the next shot. Don't know if you can hear the crows. If they're laughing or not, I don't know, but they're probably enjoying me hacking my way along this fairway. I actually missed where the ball was, while my bag is all the way down there. The ball, we're nearly there, nearly back here. The ball is, oh, come on, John. The ball is here, there we go. So. 
hopefully you can see me but that's the green going nine iron because again it's just hitting out that's not bad John oh that's not bad at all stay stop stay oh let's keep going now that is quite a flag quite a flag um, there's a bit of a dip halfway down so probably why you can just about see the top of the flag from the sea so obviously lots of bits and pieces on the green a lot of trees around here lots of stuff lots of debris about but hey oh, not too bad sat in a hole come off with a six I'm a very happy man I think it was a six I may have lost count that no, was a six I will check when I get home I think it was a six okay so as we have a whole rookery going on behind me this is the white tea for the six so I thought we bring a few balls and have a go the yellow tea happened to be in front of all this um, menagerie of water and overgrown trees, but uh, why not? Let's have a laugh. Got a few balls on me. I think one or two might hit the trees. One definitely or two might definitely go in the pond. We'll have a go. If it goes completely pear shaped, we'll go and play for the yellow, which is the other side. If you were going to play the 15th here and use the championship tea or the white tea, it's right over here. It's even more trees to get through. I was warned that it's quite overgrown right now. Um, but, you know, we have a go, don't we? Eh? We have a go. Put those down, might need them. So I'm going with a six iron, but, you know, don't play the par three. We've just got to get through the trees, haven't we? That's the first bit. Oh, we got through, we got through the trees. Put the balls up, John. Not sure where the ball's gone, but through the trees. Pick them up, pick them up. We may well need these later. Probably on a fairway. Now, in hindsight, yes, I hit it over the water, through the trees, very good, but I was slightly on the right-hand side. Um, we're here, which although, in the, again, horrible rough, isn't good, it could have been so much worse. I've just seen a whole bunch of golf balls in this, in the thick bramble. Just pull one out. Um, it's a tight list um, with a tribute, tribute Cornish parallel on it. Might keep that one, might need it later on. Put it to one side. So, go and get myself a club. Although, quite frankly, a long handle putter would be quite good in there. Make a small fortune. That's how I'm frazzled. I'm trying to get a club. The club's already here. I had it set up, John. Right. There we go. So, green's up there. I'm going nine iron because again it's hacking out and just getting as close as we can. Nah. Fun in games, isn't it? Eh? Fun in games. Oh. Same club, Johnny boy, same club. It's maybe slightly short. I don't even know if you can see the ball. I was warned that this hole could be very tricky today. And it is. Yeah. Near enough. So we're just in front of this, uh, well, what would be a bunker. is now pretty much a waste bunker. Gonna uh, chip out a bit of luck and over and hopefully near the near the flag. That's not bad. Bit hard. At least it was straight though. You might get a bit despondent on this hole. It's just a hole. Draw a line on it, John. We'll go to the next one after. 
it's fine. So, long putt for a five. It's just the conditions that beat me. Conditions of the course here have beat me this hole. Yep. Yep. We'll take a six. And it is what it is. Let's move to the next. So we're on to hole number seven, which is a par three. It's a long par three. I'm trying to find my card, which will tell me the details. It's called the Long Shorten. It's 191 off the yellows. 10 yards back for the whites, to be honest. It's all in the same spot from what I can see. Yeah. So I'm going to crack on, use the driver, talk about frustrations. Other people have been frustrated on the sixth. Well, I found someone obviously tried an old driver and uh, it's a Pro Select T600 Forged. Don't know if anyone knows what that is, but uh, that's an old one. Not anymore. Into the golf club graveyard. Put it in my bag, take it home. Might get Neil to put a shaft on that. Bit of a laugh on it. So, let's get one out there, John. Come on. Well, it's there and thereabouts. See where it went. Well, it has been fun trying to find golf balls on the fairway today. Uh, I have found it. It's here. I'll show you a picture. It is well plugged. Um, so we're going to do winter rules. Going to take it out, obviously. See what it looks like. There you go. Didn't get very far. Well, didn't get very far when it landed. Well, a long way for that. That's. For me, that's about 180 yards probably, so not too bad. Take them out. Bit of a clean. I'll come back. Okay. Right, going 54 wedge because I've got to learn these wedges. Been doing not too bad today. Again, the, the flag is right at the front of the green, so we've got nothing to roll on to. Let's get onto the green, John. Oh, or fin it. Well, funny enough, finning it, catch it in the thick grass, it'll do. Look, if it weren't for a camera, you wouldn't know how I got there in two. Okay, before we go any further, I'd just like to apologise to my wife for the state of my trousers. My clothes are pretty wet and muddy right now. Um, I know, there are plenty of people out there going, John, wash your own clothes. She's a lovely woman. I couldn't do this job without her, honestly. Wow. Very good. We'll call that a tap in for, shall we? Yes, we will. Let's go on to the next hole. Okay, hole eight, 329 yards par four. Well, I'm, I'm guessing it's the flag all the way out there and past the trees. It just, again, seems further than that, but I get a bit disorientated with the uh, parkland courses sometimes. So, let's just get it out there. The wind is in my face, which makes it for more fun again. If you're playing it as the, um, Penultimate hole on the 18th. It's another 100 yards back there. I know. Post here. That wasn't my best shot of the day. Low and skiddy. Going to get one in the day, aren't we? Oh. a bit tired I think it's traping through all the long grass never make an explorer not a jungle anyway so as a high handicapper the pressure is on now because you didn't get very far in your tee shot and I guess that's the same with most high handicappers but I'm not going to go mad my plan is to try and get on the green in four plenty of time yet
I think it's gone through the trees and through that gap, hopefully. Okay, sometimes you've got to ride your luck a bit, especially me when I've got a fairway wood on my hands. Um, behind me is a pond, which we've just seen a picture of now. We didn't get much further, but we didn't get a splash, so we're still in the game. Long way to go. I'm going to go seven iron and just, just try and get it further up, but it's just like we're in thick rough again. All I can do. All I can do. All I can do. <laughs> Started off as a fun round, now it's a tough one, but that's just part of the challenge, isn't it? So again, we're like playing from the rough, although it's middle of the fire round, going seven iron again. It would be so good if I can get on the green, but, well, not going much further than the 50 yards right now. I just died for the edge. That's okay. Nearly there. Nearly there. Thank you for your patience. Okay, John. I'm doing some work. We're going to have a lot of work to do ourselves. A little dinky nine, I think. A little bit of rain. Was expected. Oh, mm. Well, we're on. Okay, long putt for a six. Kind of a bit right to left, I think. Oh, good enough. Good enough for a seven. Oh. Yeah. I need some lessons how to get out of rough. Or fairways, but especially rough. Hey, it's part of what this is all about. I have not seen one person on this course today. And I know there's, um, there's some senior members still here, about 25, 30 members of the seniors. And they won't play out in these conditions, and I can understand that right now. Um, but I want to see what the course is like, and it's really lovely. And I can imagine it's going to be really good in the summer when it's a bit drier. But we're in the wet area now, and uh, we are struggling a little bit. One more hole to go. Okay, final hole for us today. 304 yards. The marker point out there, which hopefully you're seeing on the little bit of video I've done. But let's just try and get it out there a bit. Bit high, bit skied. But it's kind of there and thereabouts. It'll do, it'll do. We've got to try and beat the rain. One reason why I'm only doing nine holes today. Plus, obviously, it's a very tough course to try and play right now. But it's been good. I really enjoyed this place. I love this place. So, like I said, a bit of a skier. Didn't reach the mark, which not entirely unexpected right now. I'm pretty sure the green is tucked around that corner. So we're going to go seven iron to get closer and to see where we're going. A little bit more left than I wanted, but I should see where I'm going. Okay, so like I said, a bit too left really. And still quite a long way to go. So, like I said, on the green in four, on a par four. Get close. Going with a seven, because again, just not sure about how difficult the fairways are and the wet. I'll be up there and thereabouts. Nearly done, but honestly, that's been a lot of fun. It really has. They really enjoyed this place. Just very tough for the conditions right now. But oh, I think, yeah, we're going to come back. We'll come back with the lads when it's a bit drier. Yeah, when it's a bit drier. Okay, well, we nearly made it. Little dink. Little dink. bit fast. We'll take that. Go for a putt. Hmm. Well. Quick change of angle, I think. Not sure if you can see me in this camera.
take that though, won't we? We will. Nice little ending for a nice little video of a nice little course. If you've never been to St. Q, give it a few weeks, obviously, let it dry out a bit. But come and play it because it's going to be forgotten about if we don't. And um, I said, the owners, they're on, they'll be honest enough to say they're getting on. And uh, who knows how long this course is going to be. I know the, the owner has said he's had a couple of offers before, but he's never wanted to sell. Um, it would be just nice to just keep it going, wouldn't it, eh? I think it's a beautiful course. And then it's early spring. We're starting to get the hawthorn bushes coming out. We're starting to get the camellias coming out. And all the trees, are all, they're all in kind of seed to bud right now. Give it a few weeks, it's going to be stunning. It really is. So, come and take a look at St. Q. And, uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll come and do a full Cornish Quest vlog here in the near future. If we can't get it done in the near future, we'll just kind of take it off to say I have actually played here. But, uh, no, it'd be good. Let's come back and, come back and play it. Now I can know my way around a little bit, I can show the lads. Don't forget about this place, OK? That's Simple Mind song, you know? Don't you forget about me. Don't forget about St. Q. Come and give it a play. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Come and do all those things. Come and join me on Big Eye Golf and my various adventures all over Cornwall, Devon and further on.